Welcome back students hope you all are working for the end examination in this video I am going to highlight one of the very important and gunshot question related to the concept of lines I mean orthographic projection of line inclined to both HP and BP is said to be a very very important and damn sure question in this passion or in this style the question will be asked there are various methods to work out I am going to highlight one of the very important way of working out the line inclined to both the planes let's jump into the question please kindly concentrate the question the top view of a 75 mm long line AB measures 65 mm while its front view measures 50 mm. Its one end A is in HP and 20 mm in front of VP. Draw the projections of AB and determine its inclination with HP and VP dear students. By looking at the question draw the projections of AB here AB is said to be a line dear students is not that. So, you are before going to enter into the question you should know whether it is a line, whether it is a plane or whether it is a point by looking at the term AB and by looking at the question here that it is inclination with HP and VP. It is inclined to HP as well as it is inclined to VP dear students. When a line is inclined to HP it is represented with the symbol theta sometimes in the question paper and if it is inclined to HP it is represented with symbol sorry with VP it is represented with pi. Please do work out with all such type of problems where sometimes they will be asking theta value and pi value or they may be giving you in the problem theta as well as pi value directly so that you need to calculate. Now if theta and pi are the values related to HP and VP it is said to be a question mark for a given length of line AB. Now let us look whether the length of the line is given or not. Yes the top view of a 75 mm long line AB do not confuse 75 mm mm is not the top view a top view of a 75 mm long line long here represents the length of the line dear students is not it this is the length of the line AB hence the length of the line AB is given in the problem is all about 75 mm sometimes the unit will be missing in the problem by default if it is 75 it is said to be millimeter dear students and I hope you know that you are not supposed to write units next to the value in the answer booklet or the drawing sheet. Now what is asked till here 75 mm long line is given theta and pi are asked certain data need to be known for us. So what is that while its front view measures 50 millimeter here there are three things given here the length of the line is given but whereas uh, it is measure 65 what is measuring 65 here the top view measures 65 is not it dear students a top view of a 75 mm long line the line which is of 75 mm long line its top view measures how much here 65 so top view distance is given that is 60, 65 mm. Now whereas while its front view please do underline all these terms do not confuse please do work out accordingly with me while its front view measures later the front view is represented the FV that is also given it is 50 millimeter dear students getting these are the terms which are given in the problem and asking us to work out the HP and VP inclination of a line AB and also it is given that its one end A is in HP and 20 mm in front of VP as we all know that as it is a line a line is drawn of 75 millimeter let us say this is A and let us see this is B and the length of the line is nothing but 75 millimeter dear students. Now what is asked here is uh, its one end A end A A will be in HP as well as VP but related with HP what is asked its one end A is in HP horizontal plane and 20 mm in front of vertical plane. I, I hope you all are done with the projection of concepts I mean the first angle and the third angle projection method if not you cannot work out this dear students. Let us look into the problem how to work out this when a line inclined to both the planes concept is given please do understand the question like this underline the terms and make sure of writing this then proceed with the answer. So before going to work fair you try to make it rough sketch I am not working with the instruments here I am just showing you the rough sketch of this. The first and foremost thing you need to work out is the XY line I mean the reference line 
I hope you know that later this is nothing but the vertical plane and this is nothing but the horizontal plane above the x y is the vertical plane below the x y is the horizontal plane. Next what you are supposed to think next is the you look at the what is the distance given in front as well as on. If you look here it is one end a is in h p let this is a point and where I am drawing a 75 millimeter line on this reference line for the first. Later it is given that it is one end and the other end is 20 in front of V p. This is V p in front will be where dear students after tilting the horizontal plane that will be below the reference line. You do follow all the projection methods which I explained in this channel about the first angle projection method and the third angle projection method then you will understand this. Now, at this distance you could able to see the shadow of this. So, as this line one end is on the HP the other end is in front. So, this distance is 20 hence this is nothing but the A dash which is fixed and this point the shadow of this line falls at a distance of 20 and this is nothing but A dear students is not it this is 75 mm. Now, I am going to give for this line certain numbering I will write it B 3 dash B 3 why I am writing B 3 dash here because my A dash B dash is fixed already and A and B 3 are fixed I mean A is fixed. Now, I need to reduce it to A dash B 2 dash and A B 2 and my final views to be in terms of A dash B dash and A B a b 1 later a dash b and a b a dash b dash these are the final views which we are supposed to reduce this problem getting first thing I took this next you need to walk about this later this and the final answer is in terms of a dash b dash and a b. Now, let us look into the question this is a given if it angle is given what you will do you will place pro circle here and measure 30 degree 60 degree then you are going to tilt it. But here it is given that the top view and the front view. So, where will be the top view and where will be the front view with respect of this you are supposed to mark that now that means this distance is given dear student. The front view is measuring front view will be where in which plane the front view will be all the time in whatever the quadrant it is it is with respect to how vertical plane is not it dear student. So, this distance is given as 50 this distance is given as 50. Now, the top view the top view will be where in the horizontal plane that distance is also given please do work out along with the instruments and measuring this dear students. Now, this is given as how much 65. So, what if this distance are given how we are going to concentrate we are need to come in the reverse order if you go through my channel I have done a problem on how line inclined to both the plane with respect to theta and pi 30 and 45 degree then you will be able to understand this. Now, we are supposed to locate a distance from this a line which is nothing but the locus of front view I hope you know that if you are done with the normal basic problem that we will be doing after the inclination, but here we need to come in the reverse as the problem is given in such way. Now, here along with this f f dash we are supposed to work out in the locus of the top u which is nothing but t t dash dear students hope you are getting that. Now, with taking your pros compass and measuring the distance of a dash b dash and from this we will be knowing the angle of measurement is not it this need to be tilted it is as inclinations is not it. Now, a dash and b 3 dash I mean a dash and b 3 dash is the radius and a dash is the center you are supposed to cut f f dash line is not it a a dash is a radius a is the center or tilting this lifting this line wherever it is meeting this point. So, this point is nothing but the length of the line which we are supposed to incline which is of 75 mm this is we are cutting this and this is said to be reduced to now B 2 dash earlier it is B 3 now it is B 2 dash. If you look dear students with respect to A dash A is there with respect to B 3 dash B 3 now with respect to B 2 there should be B 2 dash there should be B 2 this image and the shadow when you put a torch on here this shadow will be on to this A B 3 line is not it hence it is said to be B 2 if B 2 dash is here and this is B 2. 
Now similarly at a distance of 65 from the reference here it is given a line. So, A B 3 is the radius now here A B 3 is the radius and A is the center now cut with the compass T T dash or just lift this. So, A B 3 now A as this and draw a line cutting or this is the radius this is the center cut this time. So, it is it's go on reach somewhere touching this line like this getting dear students. So, this is B 3 earlier now it is being tilted making an angle or uh, this is 75. So, this touches this T T dash. So, this point is nothing but B 1 this point is nothing but what B 1 you will be getting slight this side when you work out. So, you are going to work out this like this and its shadow will be somewhere here on this line this shadow of this this B dash. So, B prime will be here on this prime line top view front view. So, now if you look here dear students this is what theta and this is nothing but the pi getting. So, from this you can calculate the value of theta and value of pi and you can enter this is what asked in the problem. But that is not the final problem for us. We are supposed to work out inclined to both HP, VP are supposed to work out even alpha as well as beta. They are said to be apparent angles. Now, how to work out this is now here if you look A dash and B dash are the final points on this line the front view that is said to be the radius and A dash is the center. Now, you need to cut again F F dash line. So, A B A dash B dash sorry this is what B 1 dash with respect to this this is B 1 dash and A dash B 1 dash and A dash is the center. Now, you are going to lift this and cut this line. So, that you are going to get the final inclination which you are going to work out with H B pencil. So, this is nothing but A dash and this will be what dear students the final B dash. In the similar manner if you look here the top view in the top view the left out points are A and B 2 A and B 2 is a radius and A is the center you are supposed to cut the locus of the top view that is all about T T dash. Now, measure this distance place your compass one of the leg here and drag this down here. So, that it meets the line and join this with HB pencil you are going to mark this again. So, this gives you the inclination to both HP VP with respect to A dash A and with respect to B dash you are supposed to get a point of location with respect to this exactly that point is B. Then we can say that your problem is correct and this angle which is greater than theta is nothing but alpha the apparent angle and this e angle which is greater than pi this is an apparent angle with respect to HP. So, these are the lines of the uh, inclination with respect to I mean the 75 mm long line the theta value you write here and then alpha calculate then pi as well as beta along with your pro circle and you are supposed to highlight only A dash B dash and A B. Do not write this all stuff in the answer booklet dear student it is only to make you understand I have written here. I am sorry to work without instruments as I do not have enough time and I am working alone I need someone help to work out with the instruments. So, I am working it in a free hand you are supposed to work in the exam along with the instruments taking the radius and taking the center location and cutting with the compass as well as using the pro circle in order to measure this angles and write down this angles here next to the problem and do not write any other this stuff you can use this stuff the rough work in the booklet provided. This is how you are supposed to work out when a problem when the inclinations are missing and you are supposed to work accordingly to score out of out mark. For more videos please do subscribe to my channel as well as if you are looking for any other concept please do put in a comment section. Good luck and God bless you all. Thank you.